Welcome to the Marcia Miyake Show, where our mission is to share thought-provoking ideas, practical tools, and tangible strategies to up-level your life, business, and relationships. I'm your host, Marcia Miyake, leadership and emotional intelligence consultant, executive coach, and conscious mama of two. Through solo episodes and interviews with experts in the medical, research, business, and spiritual fields, this show helps you to shift from the illusion that success in one area of your life means failure in another to the understanding that you truly get to have it all. Let's get started. Welcome back to another episode, my loves. I'm so happy to be here. It's been an eventful couple of weeks, a lot of things happening in the business. And most recently, we were at a Fusion Biz Co event for World Entrepreneurs Day, and it was amazing. So that was, you know, we happily gave a lot of our energy to preparing for that. And that was just yesterday. So today, I really wanted to jump on and really connect with you guys. I feel like a lot of things have been just really shifting energetically around the world. And I know that a lot of us are feeling, we're feeling the repercussions of what's happening in the world. We're just feeling a lot of shifts happening. And I just wanted to talk into that a little bit. More specifically into this idea of separation that I feel is being planted into our subconscious. There is a lot of division in the world, and I don't think that this is accidental. I think this is deliberate and um, implanted confusion and putting one person against the other and putting us into a state of fear. And so I just wanted to help you to connect with what is your truth, help you to just ground yourself into this moment and to really choose your energy in this moment and to choose who you want to be during this time. I don't think that anyone can argue that this time is going to go down in history you know, and we don't have full transparency in anything that's happening in this world. And so we're going to look back, you know, future generations are going to look back and, you know, um, what is it like hindsight is always 2020, right? Your, your vision is always 2020. When you're looking back, you can see everything so clearly, but when we're in the middle of everything, it, it can be challenging to see things clearly. So in the midst of this confusion and this uncertainty, who are we being? How are we showing up? Right? So I wanted to ask you a few questions to just really reflect on is who am I choosing to be in this moment? What role am I playing in this, you know, global chaos, let's call it, right? And what energy am I giving off? And I think that's really important to ask ourselves because we don't need to have clarity or ha- know fully uh, what's happening in the world or have all the answers to be able to answer those questions. And really, these are the questions that matter. Because unless you have a crystal ball, you don't know everything. And I always, I'm always a bit hesitant of people who who speak with such conviction of like a thousand percent certainty that this is this and that is that. Because the truth is we don't know. Everything is so layered. There's many dimensions to what's happening in the world right now. And I think one of the this is one of the biggest tests for humanity to be like, how do we relate to other humans who don't believe what we believe? How are we choosing to show up? How are we choosing to speak our truth or not? So I think there's one of the reasons that there's so much division is that people are so in their view that they can't even empathize with another view. And so because we are so grounded in like, we're so, but I know the truth, I know the answer that we are so willing to judge others and we are willing to get our, the, the results that we want at any cost. 
I don't care if I offend you. I don't care if I do this because I need you to believe what I believe. And if it's one principle that I want us to remember, it's that the ends never justifies the means. The ends never justify the means. Meaning, if like, let's say we're going to take the perspective of like, you just want the truth to be out, right? So you just like, you just want people to wake up. You just want people to know what you know. And you're willing to do anything to get to that ends. The energy in which you do things, whether you're scolding, belittling, or sending off negative energy, is the energy you will arrive with when that thing eventuates. The energy we bring to anything is the most important thing. Let's look at it from the other perspective. And we're talking about people who want everybody to comply, like this is going to save us. Because here's the thing, both sides think that their view is going to save humanity. That's the irony in all of it, right? It's not like we want different things. We actually want the exact same thing. Both sides want to help humanity. Both sides think this is the best for our health, right? Both sides And they're so convicted in their sides that they're willing to do anything. Like, I will make you take this medication, solution, whatever you want to call it. Even if I have to take all of your freedoms, I will pin you down and do what is best for you, even if you're kicking and screaming. Do you see how we are violating a universal law of free will when we have this perspective from either sides? And I want to be really clear that this is happening on either sides, okay? I am not here to place blame. I'm not here to place judgment. I want us to take personal responsibility for our energy because that's the only thing we can truly control. Who are you being in this moment Are you so afraid that you are so reclusive that you just say nothing? Are you so afraid that you've completely shut down and you're contracted? Are you so afraid that you just comply even though something in your gut intuitively tells you this is wrong? Who are you being? Because if you are operating from a place of fear and you comply because you are fearful that is your vibration. So even if the world changes you, that is your addictive pattern. That's been a pattern for you that you have refused to resolve and you will carry that into the future. This is not the first time you complied out of fear. I'm going to guess you've been doing it since you were a child. This time is, a, is, is calling all of us to awaken. And I, I really want to be clear that when I say to awaken, I'm not talking about one side or the other in this. I'm Global awakening is all of us. I am still awakening. I am awakening to what I still need to heal within me, the shadows that still lurk within me that I'm afraid to go to. I awaken to that. And when I am willing to look at my shadow, when I'm willing to look at my dark, guess what? I can handle the darks and the shadows of the world so much better because I'm not afraid. But because so many of us are afraid of our own darks, we cannot even look at the shadow that is being shown in humanity right now. So we look away and we don't want to believe that any of this is true. We don't want to believe that there's people who want to hurt us or that corporations don't really care about us. We don't want to believe that because we're too scared to look at our own shadow. So we turn away and we hide and we comply. Again, this goes for both sides. So what I really want you to tap into right now, my love, is tap into your heart space. Know that you are always being guided, that your soul will endure beyond this lifetime. So let's take this a little bit lighter, but don't betray yourself and be silent when you know you need to speak up. And comply when you know it goes against your intuition. Do not be swayed either way. 
Nobody knows the right answer for you. And you know what? There isn't a right answer. And I know I'm probably going to get hate on both sides from that. There isn't a right answer, but there genuinely is not a right answer. There, you cannot say there is one right answer for a global population of billions. It is what is the right answer for you and you following through because you are a sovereign and free fucking being. And you stand in your truth and you will not be silenced. And tying this back into the energy bit, if you are feeling called to speak up, just remember to check your energy and where am I where am I speaking from? What is the energy that I am emitting into this world right now? Who am I being in this moment? What energy am I radiating? Because that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Because I'm going to tie this into business for a second randomly. When we think about goals and we think about, you know, wanting to be successful. I work with a lot of um, very ambitious people and I see a pattern. Okay. I see a pattern and, and, and I have to point it out often because we don't see our own patterns. People are, have this like frantic, I'm not good enough, imposter syndrome, or just like frantic energy about things. So they go into university wanting to be successful because their family said they had to be successful, or maybe their family wasn't successful, so they want to be successful. So they have this frantic energy and they work, 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 work. And guess what? They, they get the awards and they get the money. And, but then they're like in the cycle. They're in the freaking matrix of working hard and hustling. So that's the only reality that they know. So they're exhausted and they're like, yeah, but hustle hard and this, you have to sweat for your success and look at me. And they don't want to look that there's another possibility or they're not willing to rest because they, their success has been founded on this hustle culture. But what is that energy that that person is emitting? Do they have truly thriving relationships? And that's what I'm talking about, my love, in terms of the energy that you bring. Don't think that when this spiritual war is over, that all of a sudden your energy is going to shift and all of a sudden you will just be so embodied in light energy rather than this frantic, scared energy that you're in now. No, just in the same way that the frantic university student is still frantically hustling in their 40s and 50s as executives. But they thought this whole time, like, but when I get there, I'm going to calm down and I'll have more time for my family. When this, I'll take care of my health. When that, the when is now. We never sacrifice the present moment for, for a future reality that only is the present when we arrive there. So in the same way, when I say, who are you showing up to in this spiritual warfare? There is no, okay, no, I'm going to bring peace and light when when everybody is awake. Or I'm going to bring peace and light when all of us have taken this medicine. No, you bring your peace and light now. You can speak the truth from your perspective. You can speak your truth and you can speak it from love. And that is all that is required from you right now is to work on your vibration. Who are you being? I know that was a very random conversation. I've been just feeling so called to talk about this more. I love you so much and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with me today. If you love this episode, please share it with someone. And if you're a longtime listener, it would mean the absolute world to me if you would rate and review this show on iTunes. I love you so much and I can't wait to connect with you on the next episode. And remember, it's not only possible to have it all, it is your birthright. <laughs>